I'm Anya, welcome to my channel about crypto. It's Monday, so we usually I should be talking about the current market situation, but well, let's be honest, crypto market is not really doing much at the moment. Yes, Bitcoin started moving up a little bit in the last day or so, but essentially we are still trading around 30k, so not nothing new really to, to talk about. Instead, what I wanted to talk about today is, well, why am I still bullish on, on crypto, on Web3, on the metaverse, NFTs as well, of course. Why do I think that it's still worth staying in this place, investing in this space, even though for the last few weeks and even months, the price has either been going down or just trending sideways. And well, let's be honest, a lot of the excitement is certainly gone from this, from this space. So I just wanted to show you a few articles which I came across recently, and I literally mean the last few days. And those articles and videos just sort of show how much interest there is in this space. And what I find particularly interesting is that this interest is literally coming from all directions, from all kind of companies, institutions, people. So yeah, let's just have a look at them. And this is one of the first ones I looked at, and this video on, on Financial Times. And it's really worth watching it, but you can basically look at how different companies, how different individuals in the, in the tech industry see the metaverse and what they think about gaming as a gateway to the metaverse. And it's not all just simply saying that, well, metaverse is amazing and there will be no issues whatsoever and so on. No, of course, there will be challenges. It's, it's going to take time, but the overall sentiment is very much that it is the way forward and gaming will most likely pave the way to the to the metaverse. So essentially, gaming will be the way how most people will be onboarded into this space. But this is just one example. Then if we look at this article here, in the UK, FCA, Financial Conduct Authority, is looking at how cryptocurrencies, or more specifically, how stable coins function and to what degree they should be regulated and how they can be regulated. Essentially, the idea is to avoid situation like what happened with Luna and UST, where a lot of people were expecting UST, a stable coin, to well remain stable, remain pegged one to one to dollar. But reality is that that peg was lost. And well, of course, a lot of people lost a lot of money. But what's quite scary is that the founders of the project of the Luna Foundation and by extension uh, UST, they weren't held responsible in any way. Essentially, they just carried on as, as normal. And I'm not sure what will happen in the end, but it is quite worrying that people can lose hundreds of millions of dollars, yet the founders of the project are not accountable in any way. And the idea is to well, start regulating this space, at least to some degree, and essentially hold project founders accountable. If something is a stablecoin, well, how the stablecoin exactly functions, what, what makes it stable, what, how it's guaranteed that it will stay stable in, in uncertain market conditions. Of course, there can be a little bit of a price movement that's, that's expected and that's what happens with all stablecoins, but it should, stay within a couple of percent from from the well essentially from the one-to-one -one valuation so that's something that's really good to see then we have another article around that subject but essentially there is more and more interest in cryptocurrencies from coming from the uk government and from financial conduct authority in the uk so basically it's is the people in power in the country who who are becoming interested in well not banning it, not ignoring it, but essentially embracing it to, to some degree. And I know that a lot of people are very much against regulation when it comes to crypto, but let's be honest, we will never have mass adoption if the space is not at least partially regulated. It cannot be just wild west forever. And as long as it continues being unregulated, well, a lot of people will be losing money and a lot of people will end up being bared. And as a result, well, there will lose their interest in this space though if you lose a lot of money you well it will be either a lesson for you and you will try to avoid making the same mistakes in the future and you will stick around or there's pretty good chance that you'll decide well this is 
too risky, this is not for you, and you will move on. And not only you won't be interested in it, but also you'll keep telling others how bad was your experience with, with crypto, with NFTs, whatever. So yeah, I think that some regulation is, is necessary, whether we like it or not. And then we are observing, again, similar story playing out in India, again in Singapore. So that's already few countries on the list here, which which are embracing crypto. Sure, they're embracing them in very different ways or in different in various scope, but nonetheless, it's it's certainly on the radar of of people in power in those in those countries. And if you look at the dates of those articles, like I said, they all were published within a few days. I mean, this one is a little bit older, but that's only about a month old. But everything else was literally in the last sort of five days or so. And then we have more and more big brands in this case. Prada joining Web3 uh, with, with NFTs. Then we have celebrities like Kanye West getting interested in NFTs and metaverse and essentially trademarking, well, I'm guessing his name or names relating to his, his projects, his business, his brands in this space. And financial companies, various financial companies, like in this case, Fidelity Digital Assets, team to double by by the end of the year or accounting and consulting companies like Deloitte, KPMG, Ernst Young and PwC also either opening or growing their metaverse slash crypto teams. So as you can see, there is interest in crypto literally coming from everywhere. Countries, big brands, celebrities, companies in the financial and advisory sector and I don't see how everyone in this space can be wrong if all of those companies, if all of those institutions are interested in, in the metaverse, in crypto, in Web3. Well, there's pretty good chance that there is something big coming. And of course, it will not happen overnight. And of course, a lot of them, they are in quite early stages of expressing their interest in this space. But I think overall long-term outlook when it comes to the whole crypto market well by that i mean everything crypto blockchain related so whether that's actually cryptocurrencies or nfts or just broader speaking metaverse and web3 i think the overall outlook long term is extremely bullish and i still remain very very confident that the mass adoption and especially early mass adoption will come from mainly gaming and metaverse related projects not metaverse as in Ready Player One kind of metaverse, because that's still quite far away. I would imagine probably around 10, if not 15 years from now. But much earlier, simpler version of metaverse, I think that's, well, I mean, some versions of that are existing already, like let's say the central land. But I think this will carry on developing very rapidly over the next, let's say, one to three years. And what will come with that? eventually will be also a massive bull run in the crypto and NFT space. Also combined with the fact that we have next Bitcoin halving in 2024. Also, hopefully interest rates will start coming down either later this year or early next year. And overall, macroeconomic situation will be much better for risk on assets like crypto or NFTs to start going up in value. So these are just some loose thoughts based on recent articles, recent news, um, and essentially why I think that it's still worth definitely sticking around in this space, because a lot of people won't. A lot of people already left this space because there isn't much going on at the moment. A lot of people won't have patience to stick around. But those who do, those who get involved early, either by investing or by playing those early crypto games or early version. In getting involved in early versions of the metaverse, I think that these people will by far reap the biggest benefits over the coming next few years. So yeah, I think that's it from me for today. If you find this interesting, if you'd like to continue the discussion, please put some comments in, well, in the comment section or join the Discord where we can continue the chat. And as always, if you find those videos interesting, please hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you next time. Thank you for watching. Bye. Yeah.